I'd love to talk to you about the concept of the multiverse and parallel realities, because it is something that is starting to come into the zeitgeist uh, more and more with popular movies and ideas. Mm -hmm. um, what is your take on it? And from a scientific standpoint and from a kind of more spiritual standpoint? Well, think of, first of all, historically, as you know, we've had so many different, very different cultures over the years um, in so many different ways. Um, with their own levels of technological advancement and architecture and agriculture and practices and so on. And they seem like so fundamentally different. And even now, as you look at parts of the world, it seems so fundamentally different in their ideologies and their use of technology and how they relate to working with agriculture, et cetera. But it all comes from one source. Mm. So when you ask about multiverse, well, and then going back to the dreamer analogy, of course, we, we, are not the all of it. We are connected to the all of it, potentially, if we go in, but we as we experience ourselves with some separation right now, individuality, are not the all of it. And this is not the only type of reality that can be experienced. And it's not even a question of, you know, time travel, excuse me, or the existence of aliens. I mean, right now, we potentially can go into a totally different reality. I don't want to blow your mind too much, but we can do it. Please, we'd love to blow my right love now. to blow minds here. Go because like it's 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 infinite. Like anything you can imagine, um, eventually in some way it can be manifested. Mm -hmm. And you know, as I point out with some very uh, I think specific examples, some of the major uh, discoveries in, in science, some of the major technological devices, the fundamental things we you know base our so-called you know advanced civilization on all came and were acknowledged by the inventors in their imagination. Totally. So I repeat, everything can come from us because again, these phones are like magic, right? When you think of what you can do with them, and that's why I said like the new alchemists of our era are those who write code for these applications because mm -hmm. they're playing with, they're playing all types of things. And what are they playing with really? Information, ideas. It's not physical technology that's doing it. And our devices, as you know, in part, they're actually getting smaller and smaller and simpler and simpler in some ways. When you think of what, you know, this would have been a, a mainframe, perhaps a huge, you know, part of a physical room at one point and still wouldn't have had the speed. <laughs> so the weird part is, it's, you know, we're, we're doing these that are more and more sophisticated with technology, but the material base of that technology is becoming less and less evident or arguably required. They're getting closer and closer, just coming from mind alone, from consciousness alone. So, in regards to the to the concept of the multiverse, mm -hmm. is from a point of a scientific point of view, how is that a possibility? Is there a way to explain the multiverse in a way of being able to? So, so here's and if you like, you can call it a problem or an opportunity. Anything you can imagine, yeah, can happen. Uh -huh. So if you can imagine a part, and you are, because you're breaking it up, yes. And it's not a question of how. I'll repeat, everything comes from imagination. We don't have to know how. The imagination shows us the way. Okay. So then let me ask you this. On the psychedelic standpoint, and mm -hmm. what, do you want to talk about another realm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is getting more and more popular, good and bad today, yes. Yeah, yeah, and well, they've mm -hmm. finally de decriminalized it, and now research mm -hmm. is happening, and it's actually yeah. helping a tremendous amount of people. Can yeah. you explain, from your point of view, mm -hmm. what happens when someone takes a psychedelic? Where do yeah, they absolutely. go? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, uh, in a few respects, right? So first, let's start with, how should I say, more conventional, scientific, and popular belief that, you know, brain produces, which is, is not. Um, so it's very interesting because when people take psychedelics, I'm thinking like psilocybin, uh, which is one of the proper ones out there, but ones like that as well, it actually reduces the brain activity, particularly what we call the default mode network, where they get too complicated neurologically, but like critical important parts of the brain that we think of that are important for our you know, higher powers of thinking and functioning, actually knocks them out. Right. This is, by the way, deep meditation. Correct. So you know, on one level, my response about, you know, well, what will the psychedelics do? They knock out the filtering of the brain. 
they allow you more access to the greater expanse of consciousness. Uh, in my one of my areas uh, of work, still currently medical psychotherapy, uh, there is increasing interest, as you know, in using psychedelics to facilitate psychotherapy. I think I screen froze. Are we okay? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Froze here for a moment. So they're using psychedelics to facilitate psychotherapy. Mm -hmm. So I've explained neurologically, first of all, what's what's happening. Contrary to people think that it enhances, you know, brain functioning. No, it takes it out of the way. But why is it of benefit clinically for patients in the proper situations? And it, I think it does require a proper situation called you know, the guide and the setting, as they call it. Because when you are under the influence of a psychedelic, even if you have unfortunately been a victim of great abuse, great trauma, uh, have conditions like we call PTSD, it liberates you from that. You realize you're so much more than your memory or what happened to you. Again, you get more in touch with that infinite resourcefulness. Yeah. And it's not a temporary thing. It's like only when you're, you know, sort of stoned under the influence of these drugs, you feel that way. No, when you have the proper guide, therapist working with you, no, you're, you're liberated from it. To watch the full video, click on the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.